So in this problem, we're going to use mass points, we're going to use Stewart's theorem, and a couple other ideas uh, to get to a solution. It's a very good, interesting, uh, and challenging problem. So just a quick draw of the diagram, we have triangle ABC, and then from A, we've got a side over here that's B, from B, we've got a side over here that's C, and then C goes through the intersection point of those two to F, and that points P. So we've got this point of concurrency and three uh, Chevians, as we call them. So you got AP is six, turns out that PD is also six. Um, BP is 9, PE is 3, and then this entire length CF is 20. I'm going to go ahead and leave that off for right now. Okay, so using mass points, um, we can make a, a quick um, analysis of these two Chevians by um, realizing that we can um, go ahead and assign A6 and D6, and so we give those two points a mass of 6, and then give these two points a mass of 3 and 9, and we realize that the way mass points works, um, the middle, the mass of that point has to be the sum of the two masses on the outside, and so um, we're going to put a 3 there, because 6 plus 3 is 9, and 3 plus 3 is um, 6, and so that works. And that means that our ratios um, are going to be A to 2A, right? That one is going to be 3 to 6. Remember, you reverse the ratio. So since A has a mass of 6 and B, um, C has a mass of 3, then we reverse them. And then over here, these are the same in 1 to 1. So we know this is 1 to 1. We know this A and this is 2A. From there, um, we can pick either one of these to, to help us uh, just quickly get um, FP to PC because if we, if we draw that in, we draw this in, we got 9 and 3, we have this is A and 2A, right, then we can um, do something that would be nice, um, like for instance make this 6, we make that 6, and this is going to be 2. And then, if um, we need a, uh, a 6 here, then we can let this be 4 and this be 2, which means this has a mass of 6. And so, if this is P, then FP, um, FP to FC is going to be 1 to 3. And so, if it's 1 to 3, and CF is 20, then you divide 20 by 4, which is going to give you 5 and 6. So using mass points, we now are able to figure out what 5 um, FP and PC is. Now, from there, um, reverse Stewart theorem applies. And the best place to apply Stewart is on BC. Uh, if you know Apollonius' theorem, that would apply here because uh, AD turns out that it was a median. But we're not going to use it just so that you can um, see the full use of Stewart's theorem here. So what we have in, for Stewart's is we have this is 6, uh, 15, and 9, B's over here, P, D, and C. And then we know these are the same, so you can call them both X, which means BC is 2X. Applying Stewart's theorem, Stewart's theorem says that we have 15 um, squared times X, right? You take this side squared times this opposite side. Do the same thing on the other side, so 9 squared times x equals the Chevian squared, which is 6 squared, times the whole thing, CBC, which is 2x, plus, and then it's just going to be CD times BB, so x times x times 2x. We recognize all these have an x in them, so we can cancel, go through and cancel all of those x's out. That leaves us with, well, 225 plus 81 is 306 equals 72 plus 2x squared. So that gets us 234 equals 2x squared. Divide by 2, take the square root, and you get x squared equals square root of 117. So that means this is square root of 117. And you might be thinking, ugh, 
that's not very much fun because we need to um, use this 117 to try to find some area because this is ultimately asking for area. Well, it seems like it's not very fun until you take a really close look and recognize that that's the right angle. And you know that's the right angle because 9 squared plus 6 squared equals 117. And so if um, you ever have equality when you square the two smaller sides and it equals the larger side, that means it's the right angle. So what that means is that this is 27. And if that's 27, then this whole thing, that, that 27 came from 9 times 6 times 1 half, is also 27 because you have a basis that are the same, which means ABD is 54. Since BD is the midpoint, that means BC, A is going to have the same value. So you're going to end up with 54 plus 54, which equals 108. So again, some pretty straightforward things for applying mass points a little bit creatively using Stewart's theorem, pretty straightforward. Then recognizing the hardest part of the song was recognizing that that square to 117 um, meant that BPD was the right side. And once you figure that out, then everything else fell into place.